The legend goes this way. When the YB-49 contract was canceled and the Air Force ordered those airplanes all cut up for scrap, Jack proceeded to destroy all that data. So our design was from scratch with the confidence that it would all work because Jack had done the YB-49. November 79, Jack was in his 80s. He did have to sign a, a security agreement before he came into the meeting. Jack was asked to open a box and lift out what was inside, and there was a, a small model of the B-2. Tears came to his eyes, and he said, now I know why God has kept me alive for 25 years. He immediately started to ask uh, technical questions, the wingspan and the lift-to-drag ratio and uh, the wing loading and all of these aerodynamic numbers. As my co-designer, Irv Wallen, would tell him what our answers were, he would then remember immediately what it was for the YB-49. It was a very emotional moment. Not many people of the current aviation generation have the opportunity to interface with the guy whose name is on the door of the company. 